So how do you feel about receiving a knighthood? I think the word is gobsmacked. It's very strange because you actually you get the letter seven weeks before and you're not allowed to tell anybody. So the, the real surprise happens when you get the letter. And then you go to loads of meetings with people you know really well and you're not allowed to tell them. And the last three days, I've had more than 100 letters, all with Sir Richard Stilgo on the envelope. And that's the first moment you think, God, this is real. Um, I've got to change my name now forever. And it is, it's thrilling and very exciting, but it's, it takes a bit of time to get your head around it, frankly. I don't know how I got it. You know, I mean, you just, you just slog away. I'm, I slog away doing things I really enjoy doing. It's not, you know, it's not um, any sort of self-denial that goes into it. Um, working with youth music and with the Orpheus Centre, which is what I do, it's, it's really, instead of me writing songs, it's getting young people to write songs and to make music. And very often by doing that, they can get up and perform and people clap them and they feel good. Before there was an Orpheus Centre, I was doing some music courses with young disabled people and music students and tutors, and we did a concert at the end of the week. And because we did a concert at the end of the week, everybody was equally frightened of doing the concert. And so people started to forget who was disabled and who wasn't, and just made this team that did the concert. Uh, and that seemed to be a really effective way of creating a team and giving everybody a terrific experience, but it only lasted a week. And the Orpheus Centre came out of a desire to see whether if we strung a lot of those weeks together, and now we do mostly three years with most of the students here, they live here for three years, they write a lot of songs, they perform a lot, they, they perform a lot in public and people say, wow, I didn't know they could do that, and that cheers everybody up. But also they do shopping and budgeting and cooking and cleaning and life skills and things, so when they leave here they can be confident and independent young people. This very weekend, we have two concerts at my house where the Orpheus Centre come and perform uh, and some friends of mine called Cantabile come and perform as well. And we have an auction where we try and raise money for the Orpheus Centre. And I think on Saturday, um, the Earl of Wessex is coming along because he's our patron, so he's sort of introducing it then. And Chris Tarrant is coming along on the Sunday to introduce that one because he's an old friend. And uh, it's going to pour down on us probably both nights but the British are absolutely at their best when they're having a picnic in the rain. So how are the rehearsals going so far? We're relearning some stuff that I and Paul Schofield and Bing Lyle, who were songwriters and tutors with me, uh, we did quite a lot of songs for this a few weeks ago and now we're practicing those again and we're going to do those tomorrow and the audience will go, good heavens, and go home happy. Yeah.